Traditional Japanese confections known as wagashi are made in a remarkable range of styles. Crafted by hand, they have a delectable sweetness to match their exquisite appearance. Today, we examine the craftsmanship that has been passed down by wagashi artisans from one generation to the next. Wagashi invariably reflect the seasons. They're fashioned to evoke the natural flowers, birds and scenery at specific times of year. Spring is when the trees bud and wild flowers bloom in the meadows. This confection represents the cherry blossom in full bloom. The petals are made out of pink bean paste, while yellow bean paste is used for the stamens. In the heat of the Japanese summer, people crave refreshing coolness. This confection evokes the feel of waterweed waving in a chilly upland stream. Autumn, when the trees are ablaze with colour. Traditional autumn confections reflect the hues of the turning leaves and the seasonal fruits. Winter brings bitter cold with snow blanketing the earth. These are some confections that give a sense of winter approaching. Traditional confections are almost always made by hand. Using a delicate touch, the ingredients are fashioned into exquisite representations of nature's beauty. In the hands of an experienced craftsman, a ball of sweet bean paste can be transformed into an evocative seasonal landscape. This confection represents a red ume blossom. For more than a thousand years, Japanese people have felt a strong affinity for this blossom. The vibrant red and yellow form a superb contrast. Traditional confectionery craftsmen often use sophisticated techniques to make the colors look more natural. Seen close up, the petals of this cherry blossom confection look slightly paler in the center. First, a small indentation is made in the pink bean paste. This is filled with a white paste, sandwiched with another layer of pink. These are then formed around a ball of dark bean paste. When it's finished, the white is just visible, gleaming faintly through the pink layer. Then the craftsman uses his fingertips and a special tool to fashion the individual petals. Traditional confectioners draw on skills of this kind to create works of edible art that express the beauty of nature through the seasons. In ancient times, very few sweet things were available in Japan, so nuts and fruits were served in place of confections. Around the 8th century, simple confections were brought into Japan from China, Made from rice, wheat flour, or other ingredients, they were deep fried in oil. In the mid 16th century, a major development occurred in the history of Japanese confections. European trading ships arrived bringing confections made with lots of sugar. Up to that time, sugar had been a very rare delicacy in Japan. These confections were considered luxuries. By the 18th century, they had become very popular, and a large number of styles emerged. Wagashi became an important part of the tea ceremony, traditional aristocratic culture, and annual rituals. Over the years, they gradually developed into exquisite confections that are as sweet to the eye as they are in the mouth. <laughs>